Hello, boys and girls. I told you I couldn't stay away from you that long. And we're on to the next part of our story, the little engine that could. Now, can you remember that big word, character? Say that with me, character. So the main character, the part, the person or the thing, in this case, the main character is who? That's right, it's the little engine. So the main character is, in this case, a thing that the story is mostly about. So the main character is the little engine. And what are some of the other characters that we see in the story? Who can remember who our cheerleader is? <laughs> That's right, it's the toy clown. That's our cheerleader. And then we have other toys and dolls and things that and animals that are on the train. So what is the bad thing? What's our problem in this story? What's our problem? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the little engine broke down. So the little engine broke down and then they needed some help, right? I know if I would break down, I would want a little bit of help. Have a little help from my friends, right? So we had some trains come by. First, we saw the red train. And the red train was so nice and pretty, right? Did the red train help? No, the red train didn't help. And then we saw the big strong train. Did the big strong train help? No, the big strong train didn't help either. So now we're gonna see, do you think any other trains are gonna come by to help? Well, let's see. The little train and all the dolls were very sad. The big engine is not the only engine in the world who's talking. <laughs> That's right, it's our cheerleader, the toy clown. Here comes another. I hope that this train helps, right? He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. Oh, here you go, my dear ones. So you see the, the dolls and the other toys, little toy monkeys and bears. Up oh, there goes the toy clown flagging somebody down. But the old rusty engine sighed. I'm so tired. I must rest my weary reels. My weary wheels. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Weary is another word for super tired. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot. And off he rumbled. By now, the toys and dolls were ready to cry. But the little clown said, here comes a little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. You think she'll help? Yeah, I know. The very little blue engine came chug chugging merrily along. What's the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Will you pull us over the mountain? Cried the dolls and the toys. Our engine has broken down and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Do you think the little engine's gonna help? Let's see. I'm not very big. I have never been over the mountain, but I think I can. I think I can, I think I can. 
and the little bull engine hitched, her, hitched herself to the train. <gasps> She's going to help. See, boys and girls? She thinks she's never done it before, but she thinks she can, so she's gonna try. And that's all, Mrs. Spell, and your mommies and daddies, auntie, uncles, mama, titi, anybody who's low home loving you. You may not have done some things. We're gonna do things that you may not have done before, and that's okay. But we are going to try. Oh, I'm so excited about this part. Let's see what happens. She tugged and she pulled. And she pulled and she tucked. And slowly, slowly they started off. Puff, puff, chug, chug went the little engine, little blue engine. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Up, up, up. Faster, faster, the little engine climbed until at last. They reached the top of the mountain, yay! Hooray, hooray, cried the little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be so happy that you helped us. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. And that's the end. Oh, the little blue engine was able to help. What do you think about that story? Yes, yes, I know, I liked it too. This is really wonderful. And guess what, boys and girls? Just like the little blue engine, you can too. We're going to do so many new things this year. And I know we may not be so big and we may not have done it before, but if we think that we can and we know that we're gonna try, then we will be able to succeed just like the little blue engine. And little people can do big things and I'm looking forward to it. So I'm so excited for you and thank you for letting me share one of my favorite stories with you. And now, just as promised, I have the quote of the day for our parents. So make sure that whoever's home loving you, mommy, daddy, auntie, uncle, mama, titi, whoever's babysitting you, whoever's home loving you and taking care of you, tell them it's time to come see Mrs. Fail. I'll wait a sec. Okay, guys, you ready? Are you there? Okay, parents and caregivers. Ah, uh, you know Mrs. Fail likes this quote. And this again is by one of the the virtual teachers Mrs. Spill used to watch when she was little, Mr. Rogers on TV. He had a show called Mr. Rogers Neighborhood and he was an educator too and so fun. Music is the one art we all have inside. We may not be able to play an instrument, but we can sing along or clap or tap our feet. Have you ever seen a baby bouncing up and down in the crib in time to some music? When you think of it, some of that baby's first message from their parents may have been lullabies, or at least the music they're speaking in their voices. You say, baby, that's music. All of us has had the experience of hearing a tune from childhood and having that melody evoke a memory or a feeling. The music we hear early on tends to stay with us all of our lives. So parents and caregivers, don't forget, you've got the music in you. And even though things may be tough sometimes, you can always hum a little tune, listen to something calming, classical music, even the music that's in nature with the rainforest. I know a lot of times Mrs. Spell will put on the rainforest, she'll put on the ocean sounds, even white noise, um, and just take a little minute. So 
even though you got busy little people around, don't forget to take your minute, parents and caregivers. Breathe, listen to some music, listen to some nature sounds, and relax yourself because you are worth a minute. All right, this is Mrs. Spill saying I love you and I will see you soon. Bye.